In this video, we're going to be palpating levator scapula. So we're going to go through the origins of levator scapula. Levator is originating on the transverse process of cervical vertebrae 1 through 4. So we're going to be counting those TVPs. I prefer to treat and palpate in a supine position, so that's why I'm palpating this muscle in this position today. We are finding the mastoid process here as well as the angle of the mandible, something we've landmarked for TVPs in other videos. And I'm going to be anterior to sternocleidomastoid. I'm going to sink in. I'm going to gently go up and down here. I'm feeling a little bony nodule sticking out to the side. This is the TVP of C1. Now the majority of this attachment is just tenderness, even though I'm still going to ask my partner to try to confirm that I'm on it using an elevation of the shoulder. Good, so he's elevating a little bit. Again, I'm not feeling a whole lot here because again, like I said, it's tenderness and not muscle belly yet, um, but I'm just trying to confirm that TVP of C1. TVP of C2 is gonna be mid-belly sternocleidomastoid, so I'm gonna push it up out of the way and sink in to feel that. I'm gonna go down a little bit, TVP of C3, and then the TVP of C4. So this muscle belly is behind the middle scalene and the upper attachment in here. So what I'm gonna ask him to do is the prime action of levator scapula, and that is elevation of the scapula. We have to be very careful of with this is the secondary actions that's occurring with the scapula is called upward and downward rotation. Now upper trapezius is an upward rotator of the scapula. So if he was trying to bring his acromion towards his ear, that would be adding an upward rotation. But levator is actually more of a downward rotator. So the scapula is already in downward rotation. So as he elevates it, he wants to try to lift it straight up without bringing that acromion too close to the ear. So that's excellent right there. So I'm gonna tuck into the side of the neck here and I'm gonna ask for that action. Good. And relax. Now it also is a lateral flexor of the neck, but again, I'm trying to differentiate it away from the middle scalene and the scalenes are your primary lateral flexors. So I'm gonna stick with the elevation of the scapula instead. Now, a lot of people's levator scapulas are really tight, so I'm easily able to follow the ropiness of this muscle as I'm heading down towards its insertion. Now there's a little bit of argument about exact insertion of levator scapula, but we're going to say both from what I've seen in a lot of literature. Some individuals will call this the superior angle of the scapula right in this location. And others say it's on the superior medial border of the scapula above the root of the spine of the scap. That's basically the same location. And all they're kind of saying difference is does it go across the whole superior angle or is it just on the medial side of the superior angle? If you're unable to feel the superior angle right in this location, and then we can also move the scapula a little bit to get a bigger view. So what I like to teach is that you should look behind the clavicle, you should look anterior to trapezius and lateral to the neck. So I've created a triangle here and it's towards the back of that triangle. You can ask your person to try and lift that scapula up towards their neck, good, and you'll feel the bony object. Or the secondary way to do this is to manually lift up the scapula. So what I'm going to do, and my partner already is aware of this, I'm going to reach underneath and I'm going to cup the inferior angle of his scapula with my fingertips, in this case of my left hand. Once I've grabbed that, I'm going to passively lift the scapula up towards me, which elevates it, and it makes it easier for me to feel the superior angle. So again, if you're able to elevate that scapula up for me again, good, and I can feel it easily right away without having to sink too far into his neck here. Levator has quite a complex amount of movements, so I'm just gonna explain a bunch of them just to make sure towards the end of this video. So it elevates that scapula and keeps it in a downward rotated position. It has the minor capability to almost retract it a little bit, but then with the neck, it's going to be laterally flexing to the side. 
And again, because the origin is on the transverse process and the scapula is a little bit more towards the back, it's going to cause ipsilateral rotation and a minor amount of extension towards that side. We're going to go through all of those actions in another video for the manual muscle test and length. So for now, that's going to conclude our palpation of the levator scapula.